everybody and uh, welcome back to another video by me Steve Clues and today I'm reviewing this um, 3D pen, intelligent pen where you can do 3D drawings on it check out this video, roll those titles right now this is the 3D pen um, you can buy this on Amazon for around 30 to 40 pounds um, I'll put the link in the description below Intelligent 3D Pen 3 this is um, inside the box you get the pen itself um, they come in different colours as well you can get different colour pens um, it also gets some plastic um, but you only, you only got to get two, um, so you probably need some more if you wanted to do something, a bigger project with this 3D pen. Um, you get the wall charger, it's got USB there, it plugs in USB. And there's the, the USB cable, USB, then you plug that into your the pen. You get a stand, which is good because it's got a sticky um, on there, so you can just stick it on like that and put your pen in, like so. It's quite good. Um, oh, also, get these. Not quite sure what they are for, but there you go, get these. I think they for put. I uh, know what they're for, I think. Yeah, they for do that. So after you've finished, um, you put that on the end, stop it leak to stop the plastic leaking everywhere. Um, and also in the box, you get the instructions. It's telling you how you use it. Now the pen, um, first of all, it's kind of like a glue gun. Basically, you have to wait till it warms up um, before you can use it. So basically, when, when you turn it on, um, it'll have an indicator here. When it turns green here, it means it's ready to use. Um, and also to um, to like when you were holding the pen like this to get the plastic out. You press the button at the side here. There's two buttons. You just basically keep your finger on that. Then you just draw it and stop. You want to stop. Take your finger off. Um, and then also, you have to make obviously plug that into there. And then, then you have to plug it in USB. You can charge it. Obviously to get the power on. All the time when you're using this as well, I believe. Um, now, um, to get the stencils, say you're like me and you can't draw, um, you can actually print them off. I've got, got one here to show you. You can actually print these off online. Um, type in on Google, um, 3D stencils and you come up with different things like bike, Eiffel Tower, rockets, a plane and all different things so that's a good thing um, with the stencils is all you do is you follow the lines around there to the wheel obviously then you do the frame and the colour you want and do the different things then after when it's dry you can it peels off then you put it all together and obviously you use a pen to put it all together to stick it onto the project your project um it's not at all that joints with you i mean this this is probably good for like obviously kids and stuff for christmas or probably for christmas coming up um what i'm going to do now i'm going to actually make this bike obviously with the materials i've got here i've got this two greens probably dark green and light green 
a picture of Blackpool. I haven't got black, so I've just got these at the moment. So I'll just do a part with this. Um, yeah, and then check out this video of me doing this bag. He's a finished product, but sorry about the video because I had to pause it stuff and um because I kept having problems because I didn't do this, do that. Um so save it being boring, I just pull, basically pause the video and just basically carried on with it. Um as you can see it's quite good. For from the first go, I mean I've never had that that, that seven these pens before, so for my first go it's I mean, that's pretty good, I think.